We are at Whiskey Flats RV Park and I am doing laundry. They have a nice laundry room in here. It's a dollar fifty to wash and a dollar fifty to dry. And people often ask why we don't have a washing machine in our rig. And the reason is we had one and we really didn't care for it. I kept track of what I could wash, how long it took and all that, and it just wasn't worth it. It was a Kenmore stackable washer dryer combination and it just didn't work very well. And when we decided to get solar, we had Leisure Coach Works take it out. Come to find out, it was over 350 pounds for that washer dryer combination unit. And we offset that weight by our two solar panels and the new equipment and wiring and two new batteries. And we actually got four new batteries that replaced the weight of two. Um, so I would rather, or we would rather, come into the laundromat, do three or four loads, I'm doing four loads right now, in like two hours and be done. And it would take like three hours for one little teeny tiny dinky load in the other washer and dryer unit. Plus we had to stay there with it. I was not about to have water flooding my RV or catching fire without us being present. Um, couldn't just set it and forget it. And all that weight. And then we were planning on doing more boat boondocking. So that's a water issue, using fresh water and where to store the gray water. So those were issues and the electricity to run it. So for us, I know some people swear by having their washer and dryer, maybe they go to RV parks all the time and they can just plug in and do it at their leisure. But for us, it works way better doing this method. And um, actually I think it's cheaper when you boil it all down of carrying that heavy machine around all the time. Plus that gave us a closet so we could put things in there like our extra toilet paper and paper towels and towels and our extra soap and just those those sorts of things. So um, for us, the laundromat is the way to go. How about you guys? Do you prefer the laundromat or to have the machines in your own rig? Let us know. Happy travel day! Today is a travel day leaving Hawthorne heading to Urington. Which number? I'm way lost on what number it is. <laughs> I have to look at my paper and I can get back to you and tell you. Um, we had a nice stay here at Whiskey Flats RV in Hawthorne. We like it here. We've stayed here many times. Um, it was fun getting to see Richard and Bridget yes. as they came through. Thanks for stopping and hanging out with us, you guys. Awesome. I love that. Yes, that was great. So, heading on to the drive-in movie theater. Theater. Theater, and hopefully our spot is there, and if not, we'll make another spot work. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cloudy day. It rained last night a little bit. But uh, the temperature is good. So, a uh, hour drive. Yeah. Another long drive today, Woo! guys. We love these kind of travel days. We have a whopping 58 miles to go to our next destination. Yes. And hopefully all goes well. Got it all planned out, love. Every day of our lives. I'll start by waking you up. We kiss just to remind you that you're mine. We'll head into the kitchen Have breakfast with your favorite cup of tea And I'll spend my mornings wishing That I could form the words to make you see I'll never be the same Because of you I'm changed for the better and I just can't explain what it is you've done to me. You 
walk me down the pavement Right up to my driver's door I roll my window down and start waving Cause my whole life is standing on that porch Nine months never move so quickly The next few years will surely get away But while you grow and we keep making memories I'll be sure to tell you every day I'll never be the same Because of you I'm changed for the better And I just can't explain What you've done to me I'll never be the same Since the day you came And I just can't explain What it is you've done to me mm, To me never be the same Because if you I'm changed for the better I just can't explain what it is you've done to me I'll never be the same Since the day you came I just can't explain what it is you've done to me What you've done to me Well, we made it! We are at our spot in Urington at the drive-in. Luckily, no one else was here. There was a lady walking a dog, but that doesn't count. So we are here for a few days, getting closer and closer to Reno. We're going to go in now and eat lunch and watch a Cardinals game and hopefully they will win finally. Thumbs up. Well, we're done being at the drive-in. The movie's over, time to move on. Today we are heading to an RV repair place for our refrigerator that will not stay lit on propane. It wants to only be on electric. And since we boondock a lot, that is not going to happen. So we are heading to Minden, Nevada, which is south of Reno. It's probably about an hour and a half away from where my sister is. And try and get it fixed today. We hope, we hope.
your banner and raise it to the sky.